Hello viewers, my name is Chandan Kumar. I am associated with Sage University Gopal as an assistant professor in the School of Advanced Computing. Uh, before writing an SQL query, it is very necessary to understand how an SQL statement, statement is processed. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the, all the processing uh, steps of a SQL statement. At first, I would like to uh, describe about what is SQL. So uh, it means SQL is a structured query language, which is a standardized programming language, which is used to manage the relational databases and performs various operations like storing, managing, updating, deleting the data in the database. Actually, it is a non-procedure language. That means in this language, we are not going to define how to retrieve a data. So this is called a non-procedure language. It is used to perform all types of data operations, which is related to relational database management system. Actually, it, uh, the SQL depends on tuple relational calculus and the concept of relational algebra. As we all know that SQL is a not it, SQL is not case, case sensitive language. It is very easy to learn. SQL is very easy to learn and very easy to understand. And it is very easy to write a query in, a, in an SQL language. So now we are going to look about the, how an SQL statement is processed. When we write an SQL query, at first, this query goes to the query language processor component. Here we have two algorithms. Here we have two tools. One is parser and second one is optimizer. Parser is used to break all the commands of SQL query in small tokens. That is easily understand, understandable by the machine or different computer system. And optimizer is the algorithm which describes, which tells about the various optimization techniques for execution of your SQL query. That means it tells about the, the efficient way, the optimized way to execute your written, written SQL query. After this component, the query goes to the DBMS engine, where all the queries are stored inside a file, inside a file, and it and uh, uh, continuously it is executed and extract the data from the physical database. In the database engine component, we have a file manager which manages all the different files which are associated with the, for the execution of your SQL query. And the transaction manager is the, uh, is the component, is the algorithm which manages all the transaction inside your query. Look, what is transaction? Trans transaction is nothing. Transaction is an atomic, atomic query which cannot be divided further. That means when we write a query and it affects your database, then it is called a transaction. So all the transaction which is related to your, your SQL, that all, that all transactions are managed by the transaction manager. And with the help of file manager and transaction manager, the DBMS engine extracts the desired information from the physical database and provides the user the results. So this is the complete uh, explanation about uh, how an SQL statement is processed. Thank you viewers.